Hey, I'm Katie Holloway, and this is my story. I went to church at the Little Red Church up the road. My grandmother went, and she got my mother, Doreen, to come, and they just had to hear Brother Robert preach. The first time that we visited Bethlehem at the Little Red Church, it was small. We sat in the back. We had wooden pews. It was nothing that I was used to. We heard Brother Robert preach, and it was amazing. We had to go back. Brother Robert, he helped us with a lot of family problems. He came to the house, and he would talk to us, and he would preach to my mother when she was going through problems. The church, it just became a family. We joined Bethlehem when we got to this church the first Sunday. I grew up a little bit and I got involved with the youth group. I was extremely devoted and dedicated with the youth. I was at church every Wednesday and every Sunday morning. We done fundraisers, we went to camp. We would do things as a group all the time. In about ninth or 10th grade, I just got pulled away. I felt like church wasn't where I needed to be. Everything was just not right. I got involved with the wrong people. My mother passed away when I turned 13. After that, my grandmother took me and my sister in. Me and my grandmother, we had our problems. I went to juvenile detention center. I grew up angry and I got diagnosed with bipolar. I wouldn't take my medicine because I didn't want to be fixed. I kept going out with the wrong people. I got involved with drugs. I started lying. I ended up dropping out of school. I went and I got my GED right after. In the process of GED school, I found out that I was pregnant at 17. It didn't stop me. I continued a bad life. Becoming a mother, it made me grow up. I realized that I needed to do better for my child, but it was hard after so many years of being on the wrong path to straighten up. My grandmother got sick with cancer and battled it for two years. When I lost her, I went down a big hill. That was my comfort zone. When I was on my own, I started drinking, heavily doing drugs. I wasn't the parent that I needed to be. I finally got to the point where I lost my job. I ended up going to jail. While I was locked up, I got moved in the back of the jail with the rest of the female inmates. I asked for two days to get a Bible. About three o'clock Sunday morning, an officer woke me up to hand me a Bible. When they came around to bring breakfast, another officer brought me a second Bible. I started reading in Genesis, and I've read it before. I've never opened my eyes to see what God can truly do, and it hit me. Well, I wasn't, I wasn't sure that I was on the right path in reading the Bible, so I asked God to take me where I needed to be. And I looked through the contents, and I opened the book to Psalms. Every verse in Psalms was a prayer, and every one of them was touching me. I felt like every prayer was something that I needed to say. I finally closed the Bible, and on Monday, 
I broke down and I prayed. I realized I couldn't do it anymore. I asked the Lord to come into my life. As I was sitting there, I knew I was going to have a sentence when I went to court. Whether it was to find out, which I couldn't do, or to work off my fines, I was going to have some kind of charge. I prayed the whole time for the Lord to be by my side when I went to court and hold my hand and lead me to what I needed to say. I went to court and I pled guilty on my charge. The judge asked me how long I had been in there and I was in there for a week. He was looking at my file and on my charge there was no price on it and he told me that I was released. My charges were let go. And I got to get out of jail. It was like a second breath that God was giving me. And now, today, I know that I'm going to have to change a lot of things about me. But I'm a child of God, and it is possible. My sister told me when I got out that baptism would be Sunday. We called Brother Jamie and he asked if I wanted to go ahead and get baptized. And I did. To me, getting baptized is a point to the Lord that I'm ready to change my life and I'm ready to be a part of his world.